Hey everybody, it's your Monday Minute. Here I am again, ready to talk to you about being wedding ready. That's the theme this month, and we're learning about the Bride of Christ. And there is something that you have to go through to be wedding ready, and it's called purification. Purification. The pure in heart, they shall see God. And so if you're going to be of the bride, you have got to be purified. An example of this would be in Esther. Esther chapter 2. Um, we could start in verse 12. It simply says this. It says, Now when every maid's turn was come to go into King Ahasuerus, after that she had been twelve months according to the manner of the women, and so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months of oil with myrrh, six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king. I sneezed. God bless me. Um, to the king. And uh, to the wit, six months, then came every man, came, whatsoever she was desired, was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women, okay? To the custody of Shezgaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came into the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. God is going to call his bride by name after she's been purified. Earlier in this chapter, we find out that the that Esther had seven maidens going with her. That's because the bride is not one person. The bride is made up of many virgins, many spiritual virgins. The number seven is complete, full-grown, mature. Okay, there's a spiritual meaning to this. And they were purified in the kings or in in the chamber of women, the house of women, for twelve months. That house of women represents the church. That's where you're purified, under the Word of God, under the Spirit of God, for 12 months. 12 is the number of God's government, because He's going to govern you in your life. And then you're going to rule and reign with Him uh, on the earth and in heaven with Him. It's awesome to think about being a part of God's government. But she was purified in myrrh and oil, uh, in the manner of women, she was purified. And so we have to be purified as the bride. We have to be purified. Um, if you're going to be the bride of Christ, you've got to let the Holy Spirit convict you of sin. You have to let the Holy Spirit uh, get sin out of your life. You've got to be holy as he is holy. And it's not you that does the work. It is the desire of your heart to let the Holy Spirit do the work, convict you of sin, and then you make him happy. Amen? I love you. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, that you're purifying the people. You're purifying your bride. You're purifying them by your spirit, by the word. God, you wash us with the word. You purify us with the spirit. God, I ask God right now, the Holy Spirit would touch the hearts of the people that I'm speaking to in Jesus' name. Hey, you don't want to miss this series on Wedding Ready. You don't want to miss it because it is a powerful series um, with nine different CDs, preaching CDs of sermons. Actually, there's probably 10 by the time you get it. Um, and there's some tools online that you'll be able to get to assist you. Maybe you want to invite people over to make sure they're the bride. Um, this is a wonderful series for that. If you go down on the bottom of this page, give a donation of $35 or more to the ministry, I'll send it to you, um, and I'll cover the shipping. It's not a big deal. We just love you. We're trying to keep the ministry going. We want to get the word out. If you're really desperate for this, really desperate, and don't have a dime, well then write me your name and your address and your email address. Give me all your information, and I will send you this for free up on request, okay? But the rest of you partners, we're doing a work of ministry. It takes money to send this out. So I want you, you to not miss out, but I want you to also be a giver. I love you. Be blessed. Thanks for the Monday. I love spending it with you.